Okay. Uh, let's look at some stuff. So, my local store restocked their OP kits. So, they have uh, allowed me to open them up and show off everything that's in them since we rarely get to see OP kits. Uh, and the advertising from Fantasy Flight this previous few months has been questionable. So, I have this very large box full of Keyforge stuff here. Uh, and we're going to see all the cool stuff that's in it. That should be exciting. Kind of fell apart by the FedEx guys, of course, or UPS, but going to dig into it and see what we got. Giant Keyforge box. So these giant OP boxes, I, this is actually what I use for holding all of my excess decks. It holds like five rows of cards. It holds, holds a lot of decks. Uh, this should be store championship kits. We will we'll open those in a bit. I want to see what else is in the box. Uh, they have two physical locations, so they get two store championship kits. So, those would be cool. And what else is in here? They sent us more leaderboard decks. That's what these boxes are. These little ones, if you see them, they're leaderboard decks. So they got 12 decks in them. Uh, was it four per month? Three different alternate art cards. These ones are leaderboard set two. They're going to be that... Was it not finished with you on natural selection and tremor? So those, we won't open any further from this point here because... They will be used as price support. Um, don't want to know what's in there because then it's way too tempting to keep the decks for yourself. You can't open those. But there's four of them. So we've got the next four months of leaderboards set ready to go. That's pretty cool. Uh, also in here are these smaller boxes. They're the same size as the box that came in the Prime kit. There was the Nizik boxes in the Prime kit. These are the same size boxes. I should have two different codes here. They have little codes on them. Probably hard to read, but this one's G20K1. Uh, these are the ones that those new house tokens come in, like the shadows and the discs. So yeah, this is G20K2. We have two different house token sets there. House is in there's another K1 and another K2. Those should be house token sets. Actually, actually these, I'm pretty sure, are the dis house token sets from earlier. So one of these is shadows. Not that my camera shows everything I'm looking at nicely. Get it down or not. Oh, I'm making a mess now. My camera's. But these guys, one of these I know is Shadows Tokens. I don't know what's in the other one. These, that's got really cool artwork on it. This is more like your classic 500 count box, your standard flip lid. Uh, but it's got more art there too. So like these are cool because they make nice price support, just the deck boxes themselves. A couple of those. And these, I'm sure most people have seen these boxes. Uh, these are the premium kit boxes. So they have the playmats in them and whatever else comes with the playmat premium kits. Uh, we got a few different ones of those. These ones say KA on them. What else I got? I got a KC. Same box art, different box. And this one is another KA. So, lots of those too. And these are probably the most exciting thing and definitely some of the coolest box art. Look at the size of these boxes are huge. Right? Er, these, are, these are the equivalent of your standard 900 count boxes, more or less. Um, they fit decks perfectly. If you look, though, these boxes are 
a lot bigger. Both bigger that direction and in width. So they're just big boxes. And then they have crazy cool art on them, too. These boxes look really good on a shelf, too. Right? Like, them are cool boxes. And they got stuff in them. So, I think we'll just uh, crack these in order of what I think is exciting. So, I'm pretty sure these were your disc token sets. So, they were designed to be given out over three months. They come with a little card that kind of tells you what to do. Let's see if they'll come out. Yeah. So, in this box is a stack of cards. And this is the dis token set. So there are definitely pictures of those online. We've all seen them. They look really cool, though. They are just cardboard tokens. So they're not exceptionally special. But it's definitely cooler stuff than your buddy's got. So that's something. Yeah, it comes with sets of keys. I don't know. That's the keys. Right? And the colors. So this says month two on them. So during the second month of whatever OP gave out sets of keys. And it had the Warden of Rage tokens with kind of a dis purple theme to them. And the very pink amber for a dis theme as well. And power counters. Stun counters? I guess. And they all have that very disc theme. So there's like uh, four complete sets. So four sheets. So four sets of tokens and four of each of the individual sheets. So you, know, you generally just give out a whole sheet or a set of keys is the way they've done it. Although every time I've run prize support with them, I've just used them as um, as, you know, you get the whole set as your prize because who wants a partial set of tokens, right? Plus the deck box. Those are cool. So we got some of them. Those are nice. They're pretty affordable. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to say prices. I think those only cost like eight bucks a set for the store in the U.S. And then, uh, yeah, acrylic tokens would be really nice. Don't know if we'll ever see a lot of acrylic tokens in store OP kits. That really increases the price. That's Wookie calling me. I'll have to talk to him later. Um, so then what else we got? We got G20K1 kits. Uh, these these make nice stack boxes. Just a very G generic Keyforge logo on them. Almost certain these are Shadows tokens. I had some of these already. They're just your, so these are slide together boxes instead of the flip over. And indeed, these are the Shadows token sets. So the keys, very Shadows twist to them. And with the shadow symbol. And then instead of all the purples, I got some bright greens. Purples on their power token. And these, if you go back and find that leaderboard sealed, I have some decent pictures of these there. A little bit easier to see. So again, this is one of those things. And then these, instead of that bright purple, they're much darker purple for amber. So it's basically the same thing where you get four sets of keys, four sheets of amber, four sheets of power, and then the cool box. Again, these, these run like eight bucks or something. So you shouldn't kill a local store to get, be able to give away. Um, again, like, I really like these boxes. These are... Turns out this box holds 10 sealed decks perfectly for shipping. Uh, so that's nice. These boxes work really well for shipping. All right, now I'm actually into something exciting. This is the GK G20K2 box. I have no idea what's in this. 
I haven't seen pictures of any other tokens. I haven't, uh... I, I haven't got these before, so I really don't know what's in these. What house do we think it is? Is it going to be, like, House Saurian? Mm, classic? Like, Logos? Who knows? Or is it something completely random? Is it a bunch of Logos-themed cards like they've done in the past? You can still get the, uh... The box just says G20K2 FFG, not for resale. That's that's all it says. Got their address and their trademark. Okay. Wish I could make my camera point down. This box is... What is it? Oh, Star Alliance tokens. That's pretty clear, isn't it? So let's check these things out. Let's see how they look. Actually, one of the Shadows tokens kits I got from the other set was very mis cut like they were way off cut and we had to give them out as prizes because it's all we had but so they had some stamping issues here there they are keep together i would have liked logos better i've become a logos fan i i used to hate logos but now i've come to the exception that you have to have logos it's just too good so you know they got star alliance themed keys with the Three colors there. Actually, I think these tokens are boring. Like, look at look at those in comparison. Like, they just look like tokens, right? I mean, they have no flair to them. I don't know if I like that. Compared to the disc tokens, like, don't these yellow ones just look like they're just starter set tokens in comparison? on glare pictures here with cheap camera. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about those. Maybe the other tokens look better. The amber, blue, and gold. So you can have dark amber and regular amber. Okay. Those are kind of hard to see too. They just don't stand out as much. Right? Like these are just these are okay. I guess as a completionist, I'd want a set of all of them all the same, but uh for Star Alliance, they're just okay to me. But the store has some of those to give away, so we can have some of them play Star Alliance tokens. Again, the boxes are nice, so that's something. All right. Yeah, save the good stuff for last. Um, so yeah, these are the big OP kits, and actually, I think, let me go look at an older OP. I have older ones. But they have more of a Mars flair to them. I guess they're all the same. This is the other OP kit stuff you can get from them still, right? Which is these little tuck boxes, and they're just full of these things, right? Which I know Low Car's in there, and he loves them. He's got all the cards and uses them. I am not much of a fan of them, so even though I could order them, and they even have ones that I haven't received myself yet um anywhere i still didn't get them because they don't do much for me okay so these boxes what comes in them comes with stuff falling out oh well this is saurians so in these kits currently these are called the premium kits they run about 15 dollars. they come with just like the ones you can get at the Vault Tour, they're the same build quality, but they come with the Soaring decks, a bunch of those boxes. A little how to use this kit, but it doesn't actually come with. Each player receives one copy of the top 16 prize, so I'm going to guess there's 16 deck boxes. And it says there's a top 8 prize. 7, 8, 9, I see 9 boxes. What else is in here? Oh yeah, they got a ton of keychain trackers in here, right? These are just classic keys and key and key trackers. 
So, Sorian, double sided, right? Seen these and all the other kits. They made it for Sorian. Decker. And like those, looks like, like those Mars Keys cards I made, they made Sorian Key cards. So, I actually think of the cards they printed, the key cards work okay. So there's a ton of those. And then in this box is also playmats. Comes with the premium kits. Come with two playmats. I don't know if everybody's seen. This is, I think, one of the... This and actually I think the Sanctum one were two of the best looking premium playmats. Did Cincy Rex play mat? 2019. Although the box says 2020 on it. The outside. Oh no, this is the 2019 third uh, third premium kit. So this is the 2019 kit. Yeah, you can still get wild wormhole mats. I'm pretty sure they have them in price support. So if you want them, you can ask your store to order them. Okay, what else? I got a 2020KA. So this is the one of 2020. I think this is going to be a disc play set, but I'm not certain to tell you the truth because this is another one where I don't know what they did. This is 20K. So much stuff. Oh, I'm starting to get in a mess. Yeah, so 20KA. Didn't change the box. In it. Now they added some packing material. Yes, this is going to be this. So, much more purple to that box, but we got deck boxes. I like the deck boxes. I use them. They also make nice filler in your boxes of other decks. A sealed box of something. If I can cut myself with my knife here. Yeah, I think it was a disc premium kit to go with the disc tokens. Oh, whoa, what's this? Oh, that's right. That's what comes in these. That's actually, that's pretty cool. They're those, like the ones that came in the premium kit. They're, uh, they're chain trackers. So they're the two-part chain trackers and you put the little plastic thing in there. That uh, probably another invidious picture, but I think that's a significant improvement over key cards, right? Like little chain trackers comes with five of those, five chain trackers, two play mats, and a handful of deck boxes. Definitely an improvement, I think, in versatility and usability. So, yeah. Handful of deck boxes. Nine, so probably ten of them because I threw one on the floor because I'm that kind of person. All right. Oh, I love me some purple. All right. This play mat. All right. You like me some discs and disc play mats. Interesting, these actually, huh, this is for, it, it's not on the Saurian mat, but if you look here, bottom corner, it actually says first. Second. That's a change in their mats, right? That that was not on the other play mats. That's that's the first time it's been in a premium kit, which is interesting because traditionally most places I saw would run two different events and give out two separate mats. Where this seems like it's more set up to either give out one event based off of a leaderboard or something. Where'd my Sonian mats go? So. Yeah, Saurian mats. 
only got the 2019. No placement. So, it changes the mats. I guess, I mean, like, makes it for crazy completionists. They could want first and second. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. I'm going to stop here, take a drink. Thank you, Alley Cat Games and Cloggins. I got myself a drinkable Death Star. Filled full of rum. So, tasty. I put away this box of dino stuff, and now that I open that... Pile of cards. We need somewhere to put. Okay, so now, now we're down to a box that I'm pretty sure I know what it is, and then the exciting box, which is the new one. So this is what a store leaderboard kit looks like. Comes in a pretty big box. Uh, run the stores about fifty bucks. This one says G twenty K S. So. It says 20 on there, and then it's got a 2019 print on the back of the box. There's really not much to these boxes, generic OP boxes. Um, I think the Prime kits also came in these, possibly. I know I've seen Star Wars stuff come in these big boxes, too. Not just, these aren't Keyforge specifics. So, oh, what's it look like inside a prime kit? Move back, maybe my camera can see me open it. Sadly, they don't do a good job shipping and UPS messed up my box and my box has already got a ding in it. Oh, it's not collectible anymore. Yeah, these highly valuable collectible boxes. All right, that's the inside. Store Championship Kit. Yep, this is definitely the Star Line Store Championship Kit. Packing material. Bunch of Crash Meldoon. Who's that? Is that? That's not Jericho. Who's that? Good with their names of random art. I Sometimes I forget this game has art. For cards. Get a pile of deck boxes. Quite a pile of deck boxes, so there's probably top 16 for deck boxes. Oof, deck boxes. Okay, Val. Thank you, guys. Well, lots of deck boxes. What else they got in here? A how to run store championship. So top 32 gets a train tracker dial. It's got to be this box. Top 16, get a deck box. Deck boxes. Top 4 gets a set of stun tokens. So these are where, this, these are the only kits where you really get the acrylic. So these are just your yellow. So they're like, they're exactly like the blue stun tokens, but they're in yellow. So, uh, I'm not going to spend a lot more time looking at them. That's not great. Um, Or play mats. I all saw these I actually advertise pictures of, so we all know what Mr. Hairdo looks like as a playmat, right? Crash Meldoon. And these say first, second, top four, top four. So, oh yeah, Crash Meldoon kits. What else is in here? Actual physical. Metal, so if you look at the back of them, poor camera can't see them, but these are actual actual cast metal armor tokens. Four or five of them, they're big, like they're really big. Like they're so big I can't see actually using them. Look at by the comparison, it's I don't know if you can really see that, but they are bigger. They're almost like twice the size of these blue stun tokens, and that's supposed to be an armor token. Like, 
They're huge. When they say one armor on them, but they're metal, so uh, I think which and they're they're they are really good thickness, good eight thickness. So I think what you really do with these is you sharpen the edges and you use them as weapons. So then there's the white box, which looks exactly like the white box from the disc thing. So I'm expecting chain tracker tokens in here. I wonder if they're too smart for me to open. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're the same ones. I mean, like I said, I I have the one from the premium kit, and it works really well. So I think these I think these are pretty nice. Like. I never got one of the acrylic ones. I don't know if you guys have those acrylic ones they made that they like short shipped and then US got very few of them. Uh, some people got them at Gen Con that one year. Uh, but they just didn't make a lot of them. But these little cardboard ones I think work out pretty well. So, I guess that's double what you, I mean that's, it's like three times the price of a premium kit and you get Four times or five times the chain trackers and double the play mats and a few acrylic tokens. I don't actually know if the value's there. Wookie joining us late. So we're just looking at the store championship play mats there, which we've seen. They're just the Crash Meldoon ones. So yeah, these, these store championship kits are available. I don't actually know if you can schedule them. But they might still be on the not schedulable list for for FFG. Like they, not everything. One to actually schedule one, you have to buy the kit, and then they have to assign you um, permission to actually schedule them. You can't just sign. You can't just make a store championship. It's actually like a thing that they allocate. I'm just gonna see. Not that you guys can see the screen. This is my top secret screen. So active events right now are chain bounds, worlds collide, store championships, chain bound China, weekly sealed China, weekly sealed, and then social distancing. Which I've never been able to schedule one of those either. And, although I have two store championship kits, I do not have the ability to actually create a store championship right now for my store. So, I don't know what we'll do about running those. I mean, store championships have extra shards if you run them as store championships. So you could just run them, give away the prizes without that. Tokens, Wookie, were little armor tokens, and then exactly the same as the blue stun tokens, except they're yellow stun tokens. This whole video will be recorded and available on my Twitch, Twitch too, so you can come back and watch this. The last box of OP stuff we have, which is probably the most exciting, is the newest one. Is the big one with that super awesome box art. Might have to hang this box on my back wall because you know, we got dinosaurs and knights. Right, that's a that's a Godzilla. Thing there. I mean, even the just the way they did that Keyforge logo, anomaly style, is really nice. Organized play, and yeah, I don't know. This is just this is a nice box, and inside of it, stuff. So these are like thirty dollar kits, but I already say I like it better than the fifteen dollar. I can see that already. So they've got Game Genic branded deck boxes in them with barcode. So it does actually say Premium Kit B. So Shadows Dudes, they're, I don't know, they have a name for them, but they're just a standard Game Genic box with Shadows Dudes art on them. Plastic instead of cardboard. There are five of those in here. There is another box of chain tracker feeling stuff. And 
So yeah, this is the Shadows kit. So we all know what's going to be this box, don't we? The most exciting Keyforge prize ever. Yep, chain trackers. So I guess you can complete a set of chain trackers. Because they're going to have lots of those. Oh, I guess I didn't really look at that. We didn't look at that on the other ones. But this one, there were Shadows chain trackers on the back camera. Can I see that guy? And actually, the reverse side, different art. Wookie, buy me a better camera. Or teach me how to use mine, because I'm an idiot. So... Yeah, I don't know. I like the chain trackers. They're small. They look cool. They're not acrylic. Looks like we get two play mats in this kit. All right, name the character. He's also like the, oh. These are even different. Huh. Oh, well, that, that's weird. You look at the bottom corner of this one, it says top two. Uh, Wookie, we don't give away people, so there are no mats to give away. I do have play mats, though. Yeah, they both say top two. So the disc was first, second. These both say top two. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, those are, I mean, they're nice play mats, right? Like, shadowed ones, and then, the other thing is the box. It's not a toy, and it's for ages 14 plus. Made, made with happiness by a happy worker in Shenzhen, China. I don't know if I believe them. Box all the heck. All right. We've seen, we've seen pictures of them. We have figures. I'm not going to tear them apart, open them up too much. I wouldn't want to break somebody's fancy figure. So it's got a blue key. I wonder if they're all blue keys. Anybody seen that? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking too. Is like, I'm surprised that doesn't have a clicky base. And we can play some clicks with it. Um, no, he's, uh, he's pegged. So he comes off his stand. Any little forge. It has key forge on it. Can't lose that. Half your value. I mean, I mean, if paint job's okay, like, if somebody got one of these and took some, like, Games Workshop wash and washed the pants and stuff, they could really give them that shadowed, shady effect and make him really cool, I think. Like, I think... And, you know, that's pretty typical of mass painted stuff. They never do any shading or highlighting. Eh, this is your classic thing. Lots of shadows emblems on them, though. Like, and they spent the time to put the, you know, all the shadows emblems have the three dots that my camera wants to show. All the shadows emblems have three dots. I mean, he's pretty well detailed. Doesn't smell too bad. The cloak is... Like, it's, it's separate, so it's a two-piece mold. The body the body and legs are one piece glued into the top piece, which would be the head. Or actually, it looks like the head is separate, so it's three-piece. I think it's going to be the body and the cloak. No, nope, four pieces. The arms are separate. This is pretty detailed, really, because I think the arms are each their own piece. The cloak is a piece. The body is a piece, and the head is a piece. Painted... 
the eye, he's winking. You can't really see it. My camera sucks too much. But he is winking. He's got his right eye open and his left eye closed. And, like, that's got pretty good detail. There is some level of edging and painting on the cloak that, like I said, my camera sucks too much to do. Maybe I'll snap some pictures with the phone. It's, it looks pretty good. I mean, he'll look, he'll look good wherever you want to put him. Especially when we have a set of three of them and you can forge keys under your figures. Stupid camera. So, yeah. So that's the, I mean, that's about what there is for current OP. I don't know if there was anything I asked for and didn't get. Um, but, yeah, so that's exciting because that's the first time I've seen the Star Alliance tokens. I haven't seen a picture of those anywhere yet. Those are pretty new. You've seen rumors of the Shadows guy, but he does exist. If you know your store wants them, tell them to get them because they're pretty limited. I think there's only like 100 of these things in the U.S. Or 150 or something. There's not thousands of these guys. So, if your store wants a Shadows figure, they should get on it. Unless they're all still on a boat in another country. But that's what we got for OP. Um... Watch on Archon's Corner, Kryptonite Collectibles, advertise there for their tournaments. We'll see what we can run, do some cool stuff. So, thanks for tuning in if you did. That's what there is. Uh, the only other thing I got left in my box are boxes of Mass Mutation. Because, uh, well, some of these I bought for myself. I have a sickness. Along with my boxes of AOA back there, because I have a unreasonable sickness. But, uh... I'm going to open some packs and get my fix. But I don't do that on camera. So when I open my hot stuff, you can't see it. So I'm out. Thanks again. We'll see you on the discords.